champion back on top of the world. How are you feeling right now? Uh, absolutely incredible. Um, you know, having gone through the year, throwing everything you have at it to be have that work justified in that manner is it's absolutely incredible. It really is. And how, how has training been going into this competition? Uh, been absolutely flawless, really. Uh, that's down to. Uh, the logistics team in British Canoeing and um, obviously the management involved in getting the camps organised. Everyone in British Canoeing has had a really good camp, I think. Um, they've kind of had a choice of where they want to be and where they want to train, which is great because uh, not everyone wants to go to the same places. And that's fair to recognise that. Um, I wanted to go to Plovdiv and went, a big group went to Plovdiv. Uh, and I had an incredible, incredible training camp out there leading up to uh, this race here. Yeah. So. You've had an incredible competition here. You've flown through the semi you've flown through the semi-finals and you've now smashed the smash final as well. Yeah. Consistency, incredible. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, no, yeah, incredibly consistent. I mean, that's one of the things you need to have is consistency. It's something I developed with Johnny and Ed McKeever as well, um, both of whom are great role models for that, uh, for young generations, watching them. Had a massive influence on me as an athlete, uh, watching them and as well to me. Um, Having that consistency is quite a key in uh, the training and preparation. Don't do anything different that you wouldn't in training, and that you're going to succeed basically. Shout out to as well. How fantastic has it been for you? Uh, it's been absolutely incredibly uh, supportive. Um, as I say, it's been a ropey start to the year, but we got through that. And uh, as I say, I mean, coaching. Uh, for me, it is more than just writing down sessions on a piece of paper or, or copying sessions from other people onto bits of paper. It's how they're conducted, the attitude of the athlete and the support that that coach gives. As they, anyone can write it down, it's what comes after, which is really coaching. So he's been absolutely incredible. And the first people you go meet off, off the water, wife and child. Yes. How incredible is it to have them here watching you and seeing you win that World Championship? Uh, incredibly special. You know, this is the first event us and Sarah have both been at. And while they were kind of both there in the in um, uh, the Europeans out in um, Poptiv, but she was inside um, them and uh, to have her here supporting me, shouting go daddy, it's really, really special. Where are you from here, what's next? Uh, I'm going to chill out, I'm going to get changed, no I'm going to support the team as best I can. Um, They've still got races to do. It's only Saturday and I'm finished. It's amazing. Saturday morning and they're finished. Uh, so I get to watch a bit of racing, support them, um, make sure they get the best race they can possibly do out on the regatta course. Then it will be a little bit of holiday over September. September's off, no paddling. Um, catch up with friends, family. Um, things that you put aside when you're training full time. A uh, little holiday and then back in a boat in our October, I think. And, and I know you say soon after the race, but looking a little bit ahead next year. What are you thinking going into that? Uh, as I say, I'm not thinking massively about it. I haven't been thinking too much about it because uh, it's a bit of a distraction from what you want to try and do in, at this particular regatta at this particular point in time. Um, but now you've kind of secured that, you can start to think uh, about planning ahead. I know my support team, so Sarah and uh, my parents have already looked into hotels and looked into that and with friends and family as well, um, and Team GB. So they were thinking ahead of it and I was really focused on this point. So you can start to think a little bit more about next year, but at the minute I just want to rest, powers down for a little bit and uh, recoup and uh, hit, hit October really hard. And you've probably deserved the impression. Thank you very much.